Okay, in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to change the default treatment of uh, Excel's workbook calculation from uh, manual to automatic. And so when you open up a blank Excel file, and I'm going to click on blank workbook, uh, when I first got Excel, it defaulted to automatic. And you can see right here, if we go to File, Options, Formulas, uh, it defaulted automatic. And then somewhere along the way, it started defaulting to manual. And uh, there's nothing out there that talks about uh, what sets the default or how to switch the default. Uh, so hopefully this video, uh, if you find yourself in, the, in a similar situation, will help. Where this comes, uh, affects your Excel is that uh, what this does is when it's on manual, it'll no longer update, uh, have the correct values when you go to drag a formula down in your workbook. So let's say we had um, you know, four eighths here, then one third here, and we divided this by this, we would expect to see 0.5 here and then 0.33 here. When we drag it down though, we can see because it's manual, it's showing 0.5. And so we have to come file options formulas and change this to automatic every time in order to, for it to update correctly. Okay, so to change the uh, default setting, what we're going to do is I'm going to close out of this. And this is for Windows. In my window computer, I'm going to pull up a file folder here and I'm going to find my C drive and then I'm going to come users, uh, name of my computer, so AYMAG. And then I'm going to choose app data. So this might be a little confusing because app data is a hidden folder on the computer. So uh, when I first got the computer, I um, unhid all the hidden folders. Um, so if you haven't done that, you won't see app data. Um, there's, uh, if you Google it, there's content out there that tells you how to unhide those. And I think it's a pretty simple process. But you're going to have to unhide those in order to see the app data. And then once you see it, you'll click on this app data folder. And then we'll go to, I believe it's roaming, uh, Microsoft, Excel. And this is where I came and saw a bunch of like three or four um, Excel files in here that I had created many months ago. So uh, I never intended to save anything here. So I'm not sure why they saved here to begin with. Um, I deleted them. Um, but something there I imagine had, had the effect of changing uh, that default setting. So in order to revert it to automatic, we're going to come here to this Excel start folder. And what this folder does is anything in this folder will automatically start when you open up a blank Excel file. So we're going to put a, uh, a macro in here that'll change it automatically. So I'm going to copy this address here. And I'm going to move this over to the side. Then I'm going to open up a blank workbook. Okay. And so now I'm going to come here. You can access it the way I showed you, file automatic formulas, or you can come up here to the formula bar, come over here to calculation options, and choose automatic. So that's what I'm going to do this time. And so I've changed this to automatic. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to file, save as, I'm going to choose an Excel add-in. I shouldn't say uh, macro, I misspoke there. It's going to be an add-in. So we're going to do Excel add-in dot XLAM. And then I'm going to come over here to browse and we're going to save it to this folder. So I'm going to copy that address and paste it here. And the app data folder is not visible, maybe you can get away with just typing it in up here. So that's an option too. Um, the only thing on this address you'd have to change is this part right here um, to whatever the name of your computer is. We're going to hit enter here and then we're going to choose, uh, we got that all set up there. So we can leave that book one, just got to make sure it's dot XLAM. I'm going to save that and then it should be saved and there it is right there. So. At this point, we can close out of this and we do not need to save it. And uh, so now we're going to open up a, a new workbook again and we're going to see 
we should see that it'll default to automatic. All right, so now I'm going to drag it down and we can see it automatically updated. Uh, so that means it's um, automatic. And I'm going to come here and just look for visual purposes. We can see that that defaulted automatic. Uh, 